Let's not forget about laptop RAM. These are small outline DIMMs or so DIMMs. And you might use these for other devices as well, such as small office and home office network attached storage devices. So DIMMs are much shorter than regular DIMMs and they are designed that way so that they can fit into tighter spaces. We show an installation of two SODIMs within the laptop videos section. Here's a table showing the amount of pins for each version of SODIM DDR and some typical speeds. So we have DDR1 and 2 are 200 pin layouts, but you're not going to see those very often. DDR3 and DDR4, the ones you're going to see more commonly, uh, DDR3 is 204 pin. And you can see the notch here is to the left of center. DDR4 is 260 pin. And you can see the notch is to the right of center. And some typical speeds for that DDR3, typical speed 1333 megahertz, 1866 megahertz. DDR4, typical speed 2400 megahertz. If you would like to see a SODIM installation in something other than a laptop, then check out my NAS box installation, which is in this video series, and also it's Article 2006 on my website. Okay, and here it is. To upgrade the RAM on this Synology NAS box, I used a 4 gigabyte. DDR3L 1866 so dim. So this box comes with 2 gig. Uh, I put in a 4 gig module to bring it up to 6 gig. And it's funny because this stick cost $37 at the time of install. But as soon as a month, a month and a half after that, the same exact stick of RAM went as high as $107. Talk about volatility and pun intended. Sometimes you have to wait for the price to come down a little bit. Track the price online with various websites and make sure you're just not getting ripped off and paying twice or three times the amount that you should be. Right? Sometimes you might have to wait a little bit or search around for the good price. So anyway, that's an install of that DDR RAM so dim in a NAS box. But generally, the installation of these, you could see what I was doing there. You can see I'm pressing down on the edges, and I show this in the laptop uh, RAM install video as well. But it's a little bit different than your standard desktop dims. With desktop dims, you press down straight. So the RAM stick goes straight into the motherboard, and it's at a 90-degree angle. But with so dims it's a small area that you're working in. So you put them in at a 45 degree angle and then you press down on both edges until they snap into place and then they're flat against the motherboard. So a little bit of a different installation. Let's do a quick quiz question together. And the question is this, how many pins are on a so dim DDR3 memory module? And I'll give you a couple of moments to look at the answers. And the answer is C, 204 pins. DDR3 SODIMs, also known as DDR3L, have 204 pins. Here's the table of the SODIM pinouts. I'm calling this the laptop version. And we have DDR1 and DDR2 at 200 pin, DDR3 at 204 pin, and DDR4 at 260 pin. Plus, here's the table for the desktop version, the longer DIMMs, the longer versions of DDR for desktop computers, and their pin amounts. DDR1, which you'll rarely see, 184 pin. DDR2 and 3 are 240 pin, but they're different layouts. They are not compatible with each other. And DDR4 is 288 pin. So know the differences between the pins for the desktop version and the laptop versions, the SODIMs. Let's look at the incorrect answers. A said 288. Well, that is DDR4 desktop version layout. Answer B said 184. That is desktop version DDR1. 
Answer D said 200 pin. That is laptop version DDR1 and DDR2. They both use 200 pin. And answer E said 240 pin, which is DDR3 desktop version. And that's where some of the confusion comes in. So dim DDR3 is 204 pin, 204. Desktop version of DDR3 is 240 pin. So that could be a little confusing. So memorize these tables here. But correct answer C, 204 pins for DDR3 SODIMs. All right, so there's a little bit about SODIM DDR.